Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Sagittarius friends and friends of Sagittarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, if you guys are new here, I do channel messages through meditation prior. We go over oracle cards and then tarot. If you guys are returning. It's good to see you guys again. Either way, welcome. So, Sagittarius, getting into your messages here in meditation. I did receive a symbol, a glyph here for you guys today. And I'm excited to share it with you. I think it's a really, really good one. One of the more complex ones, actually, that's come through. So, I'm going to show this to you here. On the camera, you can pause if you'd like to draw it out and utilize its function. Here she is. So it's called elliptical sight. Um, elliptical sight here, the point, the intention of this symbol or glyph is to help you go back in time to your past or through your heritage to see something that you may have missed prior. Uh, or that you weren't ready to see, but you are now ready to see. So the instructions for this as well are to uh, first program some water, okay? So programming water, how do you do that? You can put water in a glass container of some sort, a glass itself, a water glass, um, a, a larger container if you want a little bit more water but you can either draw this symbol with like a dry erase marker on that glass or you can draw it on a piece of paper and place it on this glass as well you can leave that on for as long as you'd like i do an hour minimum just to start programming this water so you can uh you can microwave this water if you want to do this to heat it up but i do recommend boiling the request was to boil for steam so to create a steam bowl so once this water is programmed, get it boiled, put it in another container, another glass bowl if you have it, or other bowl. And you're going to put a towel over that bowl so that the steam is not uh, being released until you're ready for it to be released. So you're going to lift this towel and you're going to put your head close to the water. Um, not to the point where anything's burning yourself, okay? But you're going to start inhaling the steam. So you're inhaling this the steam from the programmed water, okay? I'm excited, like I said, for this symbol for you guys. I feel like you are ready to see whatever it is that you need to see. Um, the last thing that came through in meditation message-wise for you guys was get ready. So get ready, okay, Sagittarius? Let's find out what it is you're getting ready for. So moving into the Oracle cards for you, Spirit wanted to use the Wild Unknown archetype. There were two cards that came through for you guys, the Eternal Child and the Ocean. And it's not lost on me here, too, with the ocean. There is that eye down in there. So the ocean, to start, this is our unconscious realm. This is our emotional realm. This is what I feel you guys are diving into or going back into to see whatever it is that you're now ready to see. Um, the ocean itself is not, it's not somewhere where we can survive or live for extended periods of time, but it constantly calls to us. And that is just this pattern of behavior that it is to be human, okay? I feel like you guys are ready to see what's in the depths there. And this could be something, especially with the eternal child coming through. This is your inner child. This is um, constantly seeking joy too at all costs is one of the, thing that, one of the things the book says. Um, it stood out to me also, though, because this is something that's come through for you guys a lot, Sagittarius, over this last year, especially the topic of addictions. OK, and this can range run the gamut depending on what it is you may be struggling with as far as addictions go. But uh, the eternal child, the inner child here has a tendency towards being addicted to many things. And it is just that energy of like constantly wanting to experience and enjoy finding joy. Okay. I do feel emotional sobriety is one of those things that's coming up as I'm talking about this now too, because of the ocean, you guys, whatever it is coming forward for you here to see, there may be a requirement to participate in a little bit of emotional sobriety, which means either taking a break from something that you may be using as a crutch or to cover up or numb something or to completely cut it out if that's something that you feel is necessary for your life, okay? That's up to you though. You're the only one who can make that decision. But 
Now's the time. Get ready. All right, Sagittarius. So I'm gonna pull uh, an oracle, an animal, wild unknown, animal oracle card for you guys as well. What do we have for Sagittarius spirit? Whoa. Okay. We had two that came out. Ooh, interesting. So uh, lion and sea serpent. So sea serpent here. This is um, this is your. Is it sacral? There's an eye right in the center of there too. I'm blanking on that right now. Bear with. If I can find it. Yes, it's the it's the sacral chakra. So this is um there is a water element that's associated with the sacral too being connected to the mother. We come from water, right? I am drawn back to maybe there is a mother wound of some sort that you guys are needing to deal with. I do get this feeling of, of like waiting too. Interesting. I'm going to open this back up in the book. Hold on. Spirit's like, go back. <laughs> go back. Okay. Yeah. Healing emotional wounds and expressing desires. Okay. So... Let's say that you are struggling with some sort of addiction. I feel like this could be an issue of maybe properly expressing what it is that you you want to experience. There is a wound that's making it difficult for you to express emotions properly to yourself or to others. And because of this, there is an inner desire to numb that out. You don't want to hear that dialogue anymore. Well, I do feel like this symbol here is really going to help you guys prepare to see what it is that you need to see squarely. With the lion, this is an energy of, oh, well, energy conservation, really, being intelligent about when to act and when not to act. The lion knows when to conserve their energy and when to use their energy. They're either lounging about or they're attacking prey, right? So I feel for you guys here, same sort of story, there is, I don't feel like it's so much of a caution, maybe a little bit of a footnote on this. You guys can use this at any time that you want, okay? Along the lines of energy conservation, I feel like there's an encouragement to use it at the right time. Make sure that you have the energy to take this trip, right? Don't do this at the end of a long day. <laughs> maybe when you're exhausted and you are fighting the urge between having another beer or... or um, making dinner, <laughs> you know, um, I would, I would save this for a time where you have some time off, where you feel a little bit more recharged. You have the energy to participate in this. Okay. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius, let's move into your tarot messages here. This is the Phantasma deck I'll be working with first. Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you so much for your love and support as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link uh, in the description of this video. There's also a join button right next to the subscribe button. If you haven't hit that, feel free. Sometimes that button's not there though, so head on into the description of the video. I do have my website in there as well. If you're interested in private readings, I do have that open and available. So your hopes here, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a trap of swords, but it's not a real trap. It is a trap of the mind. Well, I guess that could feel like a real trap, though, too. What we think is what we get a lot of the time, right? So your hope here is to be released from something that is keeping you restricted, keeping you constrained. This could be, this could be something of addiction, okay? And it doesn't just have to be like drugs or alcohol. Everything creates a chemical composition in our bodies that can become addictive. I do feel like it's kind of addictive behavior you're working to get out of. For others of you, it could be financial stress. Maybe you're looking for a new job of some sort. Maybe you're trying to find somewhere new to live. Whatever it is, you're feeling bogged down. So there's a hope to get the hell out of there. <laughs> I feel it. I feel you. All right, let's move into your second deck here. We're going to use the Untamed Tarot. What do we have here for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? And this is a general reading, you guys, so please keep that in mind. 
You are intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if the message applies to you or not. If it doesn't, that is more than okay. You can leave that behind, okay? Feel free to check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart. You are more than your sun sign. And we do have every sign in our chart, just depends on where. So check out your whole story, okay? Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom. This was, uh, this is, I think this is exactly, no, they had Eight of Cups. Scorpio started with the Eight of Swords and Eight of Cups. Just two eights, okay? They had three eights in a row, so I really felt a lot of abundance was coming forward. Let's see if we get another eight coming through. But Eight of Pentacles, this is um, work. This is your fear version, okay? So kind of back to this trap and what you're hoping to get out of in your hope section here. Maybe it does have something to do with work. Maybe it does have something to do with your finances. This is also passion that you put towards your work. And with the horse symbolism being on here, I take that as freedom, okay? Running free. I, I do feel like you guys are afraid that maybe you're not ever going to feel free. Maybe you're putting a lot of time into work. Maybe it's burning you out. There's a caution to burn out here with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, let's get into your message, see what's going on. Further into your message, all right. So two of cups to start, ooh, in your general here. This is gonna be connection, essentially. Could be a new relationship coming forward for some of you. It could be romance on the horizon for Saggy. Maybe you've recently started a relationship. Maybe you're looking at partnering with somebody in business. But I feel like connection here, relationships are being highlighted. This could also be with eternal child here, the sea serpent coming through with the sacral. This could have to do with a relationship coming forward as far as the site you guys are tapping into if and whenever you decide to use that symbol. I am getting the feeling of, of a relationship being, being highlighted as, yeah, like your heritage that, that came through with the symbol too. Something about your family. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Keep looking. Six of Swords comes through here next. So uh, this is a transition too. Or it's a transition. Moving from somewhere where it's difficult to somewhere where it's more peaceful. Moving from a war-torn state. It can, it can symbolize uh, travel by water as well. Maybe you're taking a trip somewhere. With the ocean coming through, this makes sense with travel by water. The intention here is to kind of dive into the depths to see something that's been sitting, sitting under the water there, what lies beneath, right? Um, the standard imagery on the Rider Waite card is a man um, steering, paddling a boat. There's a woman and a child sitting in the boat as well. So I am getting drawn back here to family. Maybe there's something genetically that's coming forward for you. Maybe you've been dealing with health conditions and you're looking to pinpoint maybe where that's coming from. Is there a genetic component to something? This definitely feels more emotional to me though, especially with the addiction quality coming through with the eternal child. A need to start uh, addressing, well, and you don't need to do anything, right? So serious. you can do whatever you want. It's your choice, but the energies are highlighting right now, are supporting you right now to really take a look at this, to maybe make a change. Are you tired? You know, are you sick of how you're feeling? If this is the case, and I know there are many, a great many things that are going on throughout the world, um, to suffer is to be human. That is, that is a part of this experience here, fortunately or unfortunately. We can't really erase that, but we can choose to make healthier decisions on how we react to situations like that, how we react to our own emotions or pain. And I feel like there's a big invitation right now to sit down and talk to your inner child, figure out what it is that they may be trying to express to you that they need. Always, I, this is always important to do, you know? But especially if you're feeling sick and tired of feeling sick and tired, Let's do something different, right? Let's do something different. Okay, Ten of Pentacles comes through in your good stuff. Ooh, you guys. 
I'm hearing clearing the cash. I feel like this is an opportunity here to kind of hard reset, to do a major reset for yourself. Ten of Pentacles, especially in your good stuff here, I love that. This is everything you could ever want. Whatever it is that you, you do want. Your ultimate material and spiritual abundance. Building and leaving a legacy. There could be um, money, maybe a, an inheritance or something for some of you that's coming forward. That could be received at this time. But I feel like more so there is this highlight on your legacy. What do you want to build here? What do you want to leave here when you leave? Are you on track for that? And if not, then what's preventing that, right? And I know it's easy to say this or that outside of ourselves. And sometimes there are encumbrances or impedances outside of ourselves. But also a lot of the time we are, um, we're lying to ourselves about our own power. Okay. So if that's you, let this be your wake up call here to try something different. Okay. If everything's working well for you, then keep at it. That's great. Honestly, keep doing it. Sagittarius. So five of wands comes through here next. This is uh, right in line with the message too, in your, in your good stuff here. This is like, it can be competition, um, upgrading, upgrade yourself is kind of what I'm getting with this. When we do have competition or we have situations in our life that provide strife, there's always an opportunity to learn through that. With the rest of this message coming through, that's what's being highlighted for me here. This is an opportunity for you guys to expand, to get better at something, to improve you through the challenges that are life, right? Through the pain and sorrow that you have experienced in life. Letting that temper you into a more evolved person. This is a decision that we make, right? Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's move into what you don't see coming here. What's in the dark? You have two of swords. Okay. So it does feel like there is a decision that needs to be made. Um, you guys are at a crossroads here. Maybe there is something going on with your health that is requiring attention. Maybe there are some lifestyle choices that need to be made. And again, I mean, you don't have to do anything, okay? None of us have to do anything here, really. Except for at some point, exit the game. <laughs> so everything in between then is, is your choice. But Spirit is encouraging here to utilize these energies to your advantage. To make a decision to change something. Maybe you're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. Maybe you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. What can be done to... Bring more joy into your situation, regardless of what it is, with the eternal child there. Always seeking that joy. And not so much in the sense of something that may be an addictive quality. If, um, if you do have addictions and, you, and you're finding that that's not a problem in your own life, then you do you, boo-boo, right? Like I'm saying, there's nothing requiring you to make a change. But <laughs> if you are tired of the way that your life is going... Now's the time to make a change, okay? Sorry for the interruption there. Um, it's been a hell of a week <laughs> over here on my end with things going on, construction and, and maintenance and such. So, uh, my bad. So, so sorry. Back to what's going on here. Two of Swords, we're looking at a decision being made. Uh, Nine of Pentacles comes in here to clarify what is in the dark or what's, what's hidden, okay? What you don't see coming. This is your glow up. Okay, so this is your opportunity, as we're talking about here, to really make a change, to move towards what lights you up, the life that you do want to live. This is more strength and stability in yourself. Could literally be more money with that Ten of Pentacles here and your good stuff here too. I love to see that, you guys. I do feel like for some of you, there is money, more money coming through in this, in this reality, okay? But whatever makes you feel more secure and stable in your lifestyle, being able to partake in your hobbies a little bit more, having a little bit of extra resource, whether that be energetic or monetary, money is energy as well, 
to do the things that you want to do because you want to do them, damn it. Okay. Which is totally you, Sagittarius. So there is a decision that needs to be made to move towards this, though. This isn't something that just happens because, I mean, you know, we all have individual karma. There are things that may come through that seemingly seem out of the blue, but there is a connection energetically to everything, even if it's just chaos. <laughs> this, though, feels like this is directly connected to you making a decision here to change something. To see something that you weren't ready to see before, okay? Like I said, this isn't the symbol here, too. This isn't something that you have to take advantage of. That's your choice. Maybe that's the choice that needs to be made here for your glow up, just to see whatever it is that you need to see. So your difficulty at this time, challenge, obstacle, you guys have Page of Wands. So this is starting a new journey. I'm getting that with the eternal child here, that energetic component of the child the joy towards starting something new. This is my put me in coach card. Um, they're holding the cat here is holding this little scepter, their little crown. It gives me kind of childlike vibes, like playing dress up as a kid, becoming the king or queen or non-binary ruler to your kingdom. Yes, this is your difficulty right now. For some of you, there may be a message coming forward where there's some crunchy, <laughs> crunchy crunch. If that's the case, breathe. That's what I'm hearing. Take it a step at a time. I, that is interesting. I'm drawn back to the 10 of pentacles here with like an inheritance. Some of you, there may be a situation where there is a family member that may not be here for that much longer. And I'm not speaking that into existence for you. That just keeps coming forward. That may be a message for some of you that you're receiving that there, this is kind of bittersweet, maybe, that there is an inheritance coming forward, right? But for more of you, what I'm feeling is that resistance towards taking this new path and being excited about it. If you are one of these people who needs to make a change with habits or addictions or something like that, instead of approaching that with reluctance, focusing on maybe what it is that you're losing in that situation, get excited about what you're gaining, right? Like I'll, I'll use cigarettes as an example. I used to smoke for a good deal of time. <laughs> um, I've been quit for some time as well, but the way I was finally able to quit after like 26 or 27 attempts was to focus on what it was that I am gaining in my life rather than what it is that I'm missing. Because that is just us not really making the decision to put our whole ass into changing something, right? And again, it's your choice. It's your choice, you guys. Nobody's forcing you to change anything. Ooh, the emperor comes through here next in your difficulty or challenge. Um, so this is, this is control and power. There's that lion on here too. So I am drawn back to the lion as that came through in your animal energy. Part of your difficulty right now may be how you are distributing your energy, spending your spoons for the day, so to speak. And if you haven't heard about that, that's like, we all start with a certain amount of spoons every day. I'll say like a hundred spoons and it takes a certain amount of spoons <laughs> to do our tasks throughout the day. And some people, it takes more spoons to do the same task as somebody else due to health issues, energy levels for the day, mental health, whatever. So I do feel like there is some energy conservation that's an issue at this time. I feel like instead of pushing yourself through that, because this can be kind of abuse of power too, or, or unhealthy power and control, to tap a little bit more into that divine feminine side of rest. The emperor knows that they can't rule in a healthy way unless they are connected to the divine feminine in a healthy way as well. Maybe that's what you need is some good old R&R, &R, Sagittarius, some rest and relaxation so that you can refill your tanks and get excited about what you're doing again. Okay. All right. Sagittarius, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in the general. I am going to move over into an extended portion here of the reading. If you want to join me there, links are in the description of the video. 
this is where I leave you. Thank you for joining me, like I said. Um, readings are open and available. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. So in the extended, we're going to go into messages, direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. If you feel called to donate or tip, I will absolutely accept that. Thank you so much to those who do support the channel in that way. It goes a long way. All right. I love you, Sagittarius. Please take good care of yourself. Be well.